This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are cooking with GoProvidence.com. Chef Brian from Cafe Nuovo is here to make mini crab cakes. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so let's talk about this recipe. I mean, why, why the mini mini crab cakes? How many we're getting in a in a platter there? Uh, well, at the restaurant, we serve three to an order. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought I'd do the mini crab cakes because of the holidays coming up. Uh, they're a good appetizer to prepare if you're having company over, and it's a nice, classy little way to show off with a very simple recipe. We like that. Simple, easy. Let's get right down to it. What do we need? Okay, we have a pound of Maryland jumbo lump crab, mm -hmm. some panko breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, some Dijon mustard. Up here we have some Old Bay seasoning, a little Cajun seasoning, some salt, Tabasco, uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice, uh, minced celery, a little chopped parsley, and then a little extra panko breadcrumbs just to dredge them in before we saute. Now, prep time. What do we need to know about making this dish? Is it quick? You can pretty much make it and then you can throw it right in the pan? Very quick. You can, as soon as you have your ingredients lined up, you can be done and getting ready to serve them in under 10 minutes. All right, great, excellent. We have a simple, easy recipe, a nice hors d'oeuvre for a, maybe a holiday party coming up. We're going to get started in just a little bit. Back to you. Nuovo, one of those uh, staple restaurants in the city of Providence, been around for a while, everyone knows Cafe Nuovo. We're going to make mini crab cakes, right? That's correct. Uh, first, we're going to show everyone the, the sauce that we need to mix in with it. Uh, yes, we have at the restaurant we serve it with a few different condiments. Uh -huh. um, first, we have the uh, Creole mustard sauce. Okay. It's a little whole grain mustard with mayonnaise, uh, some gherkins, and a little bit of sriracha. Then we have a pickled watermelon rind, which is uh, just pickled lightly with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Right. Uh, some lemon peel and star anise. Then we have a preserved honey crisp apple and raisin salsa. And last but not least, a grilled corn salsa with a smoked paprika aioli and a little bit of pecorino romano cheese. Now, as a chef at the restaurant, you're making these mini crab cakes. What's your philosophy about you have this stuff? You don't want to take away the flavor of the actual crab cake. You want to more or less add to it. Well, it's all about layering flavors. Um, in the restaurant business, you have to make sure you do two things, layer the flavors and layer the textures. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to make sure you have a nice crisp crab cake right. and then something to offset that, whether it's a uh, very soft salsa or a smooth mayonnaise-based sauce. It's all about showing that difference between the two that um, gives you that full feeling on your palate. Okay. Um, and, and we have that here with all four of these different different sauces that we're going to add to the crab cakes. We're going to get cooking and mixing up and making the crab cakes in just a little bit. In the meantime, back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Cafe Nuovo is here with us and we're making mini crab cakes. Yes. What's, uh, what are we going to do next now? Okay, all the ingredients we went through earlier, we're going to mix those together in a bowl. If you could give me a hand, I'd sure. appreciate it. Sure. How okay. much How much of the crab do we have here? We have one pound of Maryland Jumbo Lump Crab. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, to that, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Right, put this in here. Mix that in. Got it. Next, we'll add the mayonnaise, three quarters of a cup as well. All right. Okay. Got to have that to hold it all and this together. Is the, this isn't the light mayonnaise. This is the real. This is no, the real no, deal, this right? Is the real okay, stuff. All right, just checking. <laughs> they don't mess around. There. Gonna, you we, can't. We skip. just want to make sure. Uh, then we're going to add two spoonfuls of the Dijon mustard. Okay. This in here. All right. Yum. A little pinch of chopped parsley. It smells good. Okay. Uh, three tablespoons of minced celery. Okay. Give us a little crunch. All right. Very Good. finely chopped. Go ahead and give a half of that lemon a squeeze right in there. Okay. <clears throat> Looks good. I like that you're using these, you know, just just a few ingredients. You're not really going to take away too much from that crab, which is nice. Right. You still want to get the nice big lumps of crab, and mm -hmm. you still want to have that uh, delicious fresh crab flavor. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we're going to season it up. We have a little Old Bay seasoning. Mm-hmm. A little bit of our Cajun spice from the restaurant. So just give it a little, uh, a little kick. And you said this was a great appetizer at the restaurant, right? <clears throat> it is. These are very popular at Cafe Nuovo. A little pinch of kosher salt. Mm -hmm. And then, then you got to have the kick to it. A dash of Tabasco. Okay. All right. Now. Or maybe a little more if you <laughs> like things a little spicy. Absolutely. <laughs> Do this to your own preference. That's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to very gently fold okay. these. I'll show you and then let you take over. Yep. 
You don't want to break up the crab too much, then you lose the, you know, the big meaty pieces that really make it something special. So by folding it, yeah, so like, yeah. it together, you're just getting the ingredients mixed in, getting everything coated with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And while you're folding that too, you were talking about, uh, you know, things, is, is the holiday season, and what's going on at the restaurant? Uh, well, December is a very busy time for us with the holidays. Uh, we do a lot of holiday parties, uh, as well as lots of families coming into town celebrating together. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing some gift certificate promotions. If you check out our website, you can find out more about those. Okay. Uh, or you can check us out on Facebook. So that's what we're going for here as far as the crab cakes. The consistency, gotcha. Yep. And then what you want to do, get your saute pan nice and hot mm -hmm. yep. while you shape them. Just take your spoon, and you can do this barehanded too, but right. I won't do that right now. <laughs> and we're just going to roll them around. You can just kind of leave them free form. Going to roll them around in a uh, little extra panko breadcrumb. Okay. Great. If you want to do this with a scoop too, you can get... Uh, like an ice cream scoop or something? Like an ice cream right. scoop. Okay. You can get very nice uh, round shapes, right. which I have over here. Okay. Nice. So yeah. a little bit of oil in the pan? A little bit of canola oil, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. And about how long do these, um, you know, kind of fry up for? Do they need much? They seem tiny, so it seems like it would go quick. Yeah, they go pretty quickly. And you can actually do this in the oven at home, too, if you're doing a lot of them for mm -hmm. a party. Great. So and are these all the different sauces here that you can kind of pair it with that you would that would you would use to plate it up? i got to show this finished product. I mean, when you talk about presentation <laughs> in a dish, uh, that says it all right there. What are uh, yeah. the different elements going on? The different components, mm -hmm. we have a Creole mustard sauce, right. okay. some pickled watermelon rind for a nice little acidic crunch. Mm -hmm. We have a preserved apple, honey crisp apple and raisin salsa. Mm. Uh, it gives it that nice fall flavor. And then we have a grilled corn salsa with a little pecorino romano and smoked paprika aioli. All right. Lots to Very go with good. it. Very <laughs> good. All right, and if you want this recipe at home, we're going to show you the finished product in just a little bit. You can go to WPRI.com.